Hi, I'm Robert from Rhino Dilla Designs, and today I'm gonna be unboxing my November Loot Crate. It came, I'm pretty excited. Uh, before I get to that, I just want to kind of make an announcement. Um, we're gonna be starting to release a t-shirt line in January of 2016, so first of the year. Be on the lookout for it. If you go to my website, www.rhinodillodesigns.com, um, you can click subscribe and that will subscribe you to our newsletter. We'll send it out once a month. We don't spam you, but we'll give updates on when we're releasing that next t-shirt line. Um, we also have artwork, original artwork prints for sale there, uh, done by our artist and my wife, Hannah. And we also have our first run of t-shirts. Uh, which is kind of an Arkansas Little Rock theme. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. The website's rhinodillodesigns.com. So, Loot Crate came. I'm pretty excited. Let's unbox this. I've got it set up. Uh, I did cut this tape, but haven't opened it yet. So I'm as excited as you guys are. Some awesome green graphics. Looks like there's some eyeballs or oh no, these are drains up here. Um, looks like a road, but first off, let's get to what's inside. We've got a pretty awesome pair of Ninja Turtle sunglasses. Uh, looks like it's a Shredder Shades is what it's called. Um, obviously, Shredder with his trademark helmet mask on. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at this video later and realize how stupid I look, but that's okay. Let's move on. We've got a Vault Boy. Awesome. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Let's make sure that he is safely out. You got the nice bobble to him. 111 on the back. Vault Tech. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's just set him aside here. What else have we got in here? Mockingjay Hunger Games pin. Take a look at that. That is pretty nifty. It is a Mockingjay pin. I can see this going with my other lapel pin that I got from the crate a few months ago. Or an obnoxiously huge tie clip. Somebody's into that. Next item, cute but deadly series one figure. It's a blizzard figure, blizzard figurine. So it looks like it's one of seven, eight, nine, nine, and three of those are a mystery crate. The Murloc is a loot crate exclusive. So let's hope we have a Murloc in here. Cool. All right, we've got these, this packaging here. There's a tear slot, so let's tear this thing open. We've got his little stand here. <laughs> he, I have to say he's pretty adorable. Oh no, he is broken. He, he's broken. This is not good. I'm gonna have to write to Loot Crate and tell him, hey, one of my things came broken. Um, not cool. This is the first time this has happened since I've been a subscriber to Loot Crate, so um, their track record is pretty good with me so far. And they've had some pretty awesome things. Um, so don't let this disappoint you or dissuade you from getting uh, subscribed to them if you're, if you're interested in this type of stuff. Okay, so he's a nice little spiny dude. Look at that face. You can't say no to that face. It's awesome. Okay. Alright, he's kind of fish looking. Got some fins on the side of his head. Uh, honestly, I'm not familiar with what he is from, um, but I do like the figurine itself. Next, we have the Gift of Geek from Loot Crate. That's what this card thing says. Open it up. There's some writing inside. Happy Holidays, Looter! At Loot Crate, we try to make our crates a special gift you'll enjoy. 
Use these tags to celebrate the spirit of the holidays and share the love with your geeky friends and family. Regift your loot to someone who will love it as much as we love you. Team Loot Crate. So that's pretty awesome. You know, the stuff that, uh, <laughs> to regift the stuff that you may not want, uh, or the stuff that you may want, but you think somebody else will enjoy. We've got a sticker set as well from the Blizzard team, um, and it is from the same characters, or of the same characters that are displayed here from the Cute But Deadly, uh, series. So, that's right there. We've also got the Loot Crate magazine here, um, which comes action-packed with all their recent articles, kind of description of what's going on with them and what's going on in the uh, gaming community overall, or nerd community overall, or geek community overall, or whatever you want to call this niche that they cater to, which includes me. And finally, we have the Street Fighter Hyper Looting comic book. I'm not going to reveal any spoilers to you, not going to open this right now, but uh, if you want it and you're looking forward to getting your crate in, um, or if you decide to purchase one of their pass crate deals, if this comes up uh, again in one of their pass crate deals, then you'll be able to enjoy this for yourself. And then we've got their November combat button, which looks like a combat train vehicle, armored vehicle thing. That's pretty cool. I really like their buttons. They go well with uh, you know anything that you want to put them on, whether it's a backpack or just post them to your wall or, or what, whatever it is. So I'm pretty excited about this. Finally, let's get this box put together. So. One of, the, one of the biggest things that I enjoy about Loot Crate is that they customize each month's box to be assembled or utilized in some form or fashion. I remember one month there was a, the theme was gaming and they made their own board game, included their own die and um, you know other, other items, uh, you know game pieces and stuff to play that game. So we've got instructions which are usually here on the side and inside of the box. Put this thing together and it looks like it comes together as a stage. I Okay, got some tape from my wife. All right, I'm gonna tape these two sides together. Facing the camera this time, that way you can see what I'm doing. Basically it's the lid turned out as if it's a road. And then you have a stage set up. They're wanting you to use another, maybe another loot crate box or something like that to kind of set this up. But here we go. So obviously it's a little scene there to, um, you know, host a, a combat in sort of the side, side view, side scroll genre era of Street Fighter. You know, I'll get your little figure going in there. I know some of you have those figurines. You're watching this right now saying, oh, this is awesome. I'm going to play with them later today. So there you go. And you can make your own little stop motion film. Great idea. I'd probably like do that and post it on YouTube. Tag me if you do. It'd be awesome. There we go. Here's our crate for this month. We've got the uh, Vault Boy bobblehead. We've got the button. We've got the uh, Blizzard minifigure. The uh, Hunger Games Mockingjay pin, which is pretty awesome. I'm a really big fan of the Hunger Games series. We've got the Street Fighter magazine, the Blizzard stickers, the in every issue, every month's issue, the uh, Loot Crate magazine, as well as these nifty sunglasses that are Ninja Turtle Shredder. That's our crate unboxing today. Go to our website, check it out. RhinoDillaDesigns.com. You can subscribe to our newsletter there. We'll send it out once a month. We won't spam you. Um, we'll also make an announcements about um, upcoming designs, upcoming releases that we're going to be releasing, um, specifically our new t-shirt line. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, uh, tell me so in the comments below. Thank you.